Welcome back. We're still in that conversation with Maurice Kimatu, the director of Ngoma Schools, who, who's taking us through his journey, how he got to be the director and teacher at Ngoma School, from being a journalism student and having a, a degree from mass communication to what he's doing now. So, Maurice. Uh, you, you went uh, on to do the advertisement and there were posters around Kajiado now advertising the Zngoma schools and this is what we offer. So what, what after that? So Kajiado town wakes up in the morning, all over there's an institution which was not there the previous night. Mm. You know, so um, at this period now, remember, mm. I have pinned the blackboard, mm. I have the facility, mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have teachers, I don't have students, but mm. they have advertised. Mm. So luckily now, I'm, I'm getting the course from O'Connors. Others are students, others are teachers, mm. others are maybe the well-wishers, you know. Mm -hmm. So within one week, I think I mm. had al around, um, around 10 to 15 students. Mm -hmm. Right, because the people are calling from right to central, where is this school, where is it located? Others, they just need to come and see the institution just to... So to be satisfied, to witness, yeah, to <laughs> witness. we are I am some competitors. I'll take you to the competitors. There's a story for my competitors there. So there it is. The school is here. Means of education, the, those are in patrol. They are seeing an institution. It is not known by the means of education, you know. So within one week, two weeks, students have started reporting. Wow, that you was know? fast. Mm -hmm. So there's one student reporting, the two students, they are coming. So. I've been the blackboard some few years and a lot of teachers, mm -hmm. you know. So what I did is that um, I had now to hire teachers. The people are calling, they have to hire teachers, and maybe the teachers had to, to multitask because I was not in a position whereby I can hire all the teachers to satisfy all the subjects. Mm -hmm. So if it is a teacher and he's doing like three subjects or four subjects, regardless of what you did in university. Okay. And I can tell you within one, two months, uh, my institution had around 30 students. Wow. 30 students. So the teachers, when they come, so I had to include the fee for the, for the, the, book, for the books. So when uh, a student comes, then you have to come with one book or two books, for example. You know, that is included. So you have to report, you pay the school fees, then uh, you report with the two books. The two books, when they come, it is, for, uh, it is a school property. We have a stamp and all that. Mm. So you can access the books the time you want. You can borrow the books, but they remain to be the property of the school. So that's how we, uh, we started. Remember, it is a, uh, a secondary. We, we need the, the lab, you know, because the secondary comes with all those things. We mm -hmm. need the lab, we need the library, we need the, the toilets, we need the, 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 the compound for the students and all. So it was a challenge at the, uh, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But uh, because I had passion, uh, I pushed it for like around uh, one whole year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and now teaching, I know it's also, you know, you, you do KCSC and IGCSC. Yes. So how was that also? Uh, that? IGCSC, it is a British curriculum. Mm -hmm. KCSC, it is a Kenyan system. In yeah. other terms, uh, British curriculum, the IGCSC, it is the, the uh, Kenya certificate, I mean, uh, the and general Kenya. certificate of secondary education, which is general. Mm -hmm. KCSC is the Kenya certificate of secondary education. Every country has the national exam. Right. Yeah. So the difference between the Kenya KCSC and the IGCSC, IGCSC is the general the certificate of secondary education. Yeah. It is international. So for me, uh, it was not a, a, a big difference because remember I have some experience of teaching. And the way I was teaching before, I was doing the two uh, uh, syllabuses, the, the Kenyan system and the British curriculum system. So for me, it was not a challenge. So Again, mm -hmm. the people I engaged in what I was doing, those are the key points I was looking for, not the purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have so done this one. You wanted teachers who could do both could syllabus. Could do both, uh, yes, two systems, yes. Okay. Yes. Ah. So now, um, how was it running the system? Because at some point, I know uh, the school, you closed the school? Y yes. Uh -huh. So why, how did that happen? Well, um, after some, like, less, so, so it, it began the way I has just said, and everything was running well. Um, I had some students, remember, there are some students which are coming to, to a school, maybe they had left at Form 2. So they're not ready for the, the exams. So we have to advise them, I tell them they have to go uh, this period of time for the exam. That those are coming that very time, and they say we need to register for the exams. 
you mm -hmm. know, to do exam that year. Okay. You know, so in this case, I had now to separate because the system of Kenya and uh, the British curriculum, they are two different things. So I had separated them. We have uh, those who are taking the Kenyan system and the others who are taking the, the British curriculum system. And there are teachers who are teaching both uh, in the second Kenyan system. They are the same teachers who are teaching the British curriculum system. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, after some while it grew. You see, uh, as it grows, we are expanding. We are buying new books. Because in registration of a school, there are some key points you need to, to have. The yeah. first thing is the facility. All right. Number two, you have to form something called the BOM, Board of Management. Um, the, 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 yeah. the, you understand? The help and running of the school. Yes. Uh, we have what you call the, 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 we have to go to the Ministry of Education and you are approved, you are given a letter. The people from the Ministry of Education come to your center, they assess the center, does it have what is required, does it have classes, does it have enough rooms for, for learning environment, the qualification mm -hmm. of the teachers, the principal who is running the institution, and all those things. It's under the roof of the, the, the means of education. So for a center to be approved, there are some key, uh, key things we normally do. So at this time, you cannot form a board of management, Stephanie, mm -hmm. if the school is not existing. Okay. You know, so you are, it has to start. Then when it begins now, now you go to the Ministry of Education and tell them, this is what I'm doing. So then at that time now, they have to send their people. Remember, they have to come. Uh, you have to compile a report from NEMA, you know, to see whether the institution where it is located. We have some external noise which can affect the students and all that. Mm -hmm. So at this time, I have not formed all this because it's a process. Yeah. You know, you cannot form a board of management out of blues. The school is not there and we are formed the board of management. We go to board of management. We need to see the principal, the director. We need to see the principal. We need to see the subordinate staffs, mm -hmm. the people from the uh, surrounding of the school and all that. So at this time, I don't started, I have not uh, done all these things, but they were in the process. So the first thing I had done, you get a facility. When you get a facility, you have to be given uh, something called allotment letter. Mm -hmm. Because a school is not something whereby you establish today, then after next one year, you have shifted. It is not allowed. If the school it is here, you have to be in an allotment letter and you have to tell us you are going to stay there for a minimum like 10 years. You see? Mm -hmm. So all these things, they were in the process. But now I have the students, I have the teachers, I have engaged them and all that. So it is a whole set. Mm -hmm. The school is doing well. We are running the syllabus as well. We are closed the school like another school. Mm -hmm. Then um, it happens this one day. Yeah. We are in class. Mm -hmm. Then uh, one of the teachers, I had some small office somewhere. Mm -hmm. Tells me, we have some visitors. So when I get outside, I see some big machines, some big cars, written the Ministry of Education, Kajado. Uh -huh. So I have some officials there. I don't know what's exactly what is going on. Then um, they tell me they need to talk to the director of the school. Who is me? <laughs> you can imagine. Those are back like some years back. Yeah. Six years back. You know, there I am, I am frustrated, try to chase my dream. I have a lot of knowledge. You broke, you know, mm -hmm. you try to make the heads meet and all that. Then the head of uh, the DO, District of Education Officer of Kajad, comes to my institution with the other staffs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they come to my office, so they deduce themselves. So you are director of the institution. Yes, you are director of the institution. Uh, this and so and so. We are from the Ministry of Education. This and so and so, this and so and so. And then we are here to assess your school. Uh -huh. So there I am. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't have uh, the, 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 the papers which is satisfied to run a school. Thought they were in the process. Well, they were in the process. They were in the process. After they were in the process, I had started engaging people and all that. Uh, they, you have to show them where the lab is. When you start an institution, you cannot. Uh, you have to start from somewhere. You can't start an institution. Okay, you can start if you have a lot of money. But first, because this was, I was just chasing my dream. Mm -hmm. I did not have what is needed because the the minimum requirement. You need to have a lab. You need to have a library. You see. So these things, the books I have, they are just in the cartons. <laughs> you know, you give it's them a lot of wisdom, way. and uh, what is required is not there. So, Madam Kaseo, I think that's her name. She tells me now uh, we have to close the institution temporarily because you don't meet the minimum requirements. I just I know you know what. This is my dream. You know, yes. I have built it up to this point. I'm just fresh from university. This is the something I need to bring to the community. I'm not selling drugs. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm knowledge. doing. I'm impacted society this way. Only that I have not met the minimum requirements. So, given some period of time, 
I can acquire all these things. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, she tells me no, because I think there was something behind it. I had some competitors there. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. She tells me, we are not going to talk anything, Morris. We are going to close this institution. Remember, I have around now 30 to 40 students in this class. Mm -hmm. She goes to the class and I says, tells the students, we have closed this center mm -hmm. till your director meets the minimum requirements. Stephanie, okay. you just woke up today and everything is gone. Everything is gone. Your dream that you have built from scratch is now being it is taken gone. when you can say it. it is go I wasn't myself because I had to go even to, 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 to a pastor to, to, for counseling. Wow, that was something. It was something. It was a big Yes. So now, fast forward. Uh, because of time. So what happened next uh, after that? I know, how did you transition to online? So from there now I had to go to the, uh, to the ministry. They told me these are the requirements and mm -hmm. they have to meet them. I don't have money, I don't have what. So the student now, they had to start to go to other schools. Mm -hmm. As you watch, you know, it was a blow. But this was my dream. Mm -hmm. So I've worked today, the school is no more there. No general reasons anyway. You know, mm -hmm. so I can say so. But I said I cannot, uh, I cannot stop. You can't stop. stop here. I can't stop there. So everything is gone. There are mm -hmm. some students who were form for then. And they said, you know what, Malim, we are trusting in you. We will go with you till we do the exam. And they did, seven of them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everything is scattered because there are those who were going to believe in you. There are those who said this institution was not uh, registered. These are the quack teachers who maybe they need money. So that was it, and uh, everything entered. So at that time, uh, I had to look for another place, but I had to teach my students online. So that's why now Teach Online start, uh, started. How am I going to give my students the content? Because I can take them to do the exams. Mm -hmm. Because you usually take them to the sub count to do the exams, all right? So at this time, everything's gone. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to reach my students online? So that's how I started uh, doing all the online thing. So now, okay. And now you also have the physical institution where they go to do the exams? Mm -hmm, yes. Oh, so it's there, so they can go online and still go to class for go those to that class, are exactly. there. So you built your dream again. So what happened after that, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Now I had to come back from Kajado to Rongai. Mm -hmm. So I started now the homeschooling thing. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is what I was doing before. So I started homeschooling, I'm here and there and doing all these things. Mm -hmm. Then it happens now, the people are liking me. They like what I'm doing. You know, so I just started as a family because I say now open a school anymore is not my thing. I just go to do online thing. So it grew and some clients were like, where can we find you? Mm -hmm. You know, so now I had to start. So I started with like one room. And then you go. Then it grew. I never knew where to blow this way. I just started and the people were like, they were calling. The people are uh, get to school. How is it run? Uh, the still being run. And the, the good thing about an institution, when you come to an institution, it's not a must you take the four years, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not a must you take. We just take you through the syllabus. because like an adult education, a yeah. private uh, uh, candidate, you know. So it's not a must they take the whole four, course, uh, four years course. Okay. You know, yes. So now, uh, what, from your story, what would you say are some of the lessons, as we come to a close, some of the lessons you picked from, you know, uh, pursuing your passion in your career? Uh, what I can say, Stephanie, basically, is you can become what you want. Mm -hmm. You can become what you want, so long as you have the passion. Because uh, I usually say your attitude is your attitude. I don't know whether that's a, the good way I can put it. Mm -hmm. But w where you can, the, the, the higher you can think, that is you. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can become what you want, provided you have the passion. Okay. So that's how the Goma School started. Mm -hmm. It's just online. At the basically just online. Because it was a school because Goma schools with some time, it will be running like any other institution. Like any other fiscal institution. And that's your vision. That's my vision. Mm, okay. You know, in the next two, three years, the Goma schools will be an online institution whereby it is running the syllabus, the scheme of work, both curriculums, British curriculum and the Kenyan curriculum, from morning to four and it will be giving exams. Mm -hmm. So the education will bring it at home. 
Okay. Yes. Interesting. Wow. So uh, as we come to a close, this is your camera. Mm -hmm. You can tell the people one thing that you'd want them to take away from this whole conversation, you know, mm -hmm. and also talk to those that are pursuing careers that are not of their passion because mm -hmm. of one reason or another, maybe financial issues. Mm -hmm. So speak to them. Well, um, my name is Maurice Kimatu. I'm the founder of the Ngoma Schools. Uh, Ngoma Schools, basically, it's an institution which deals with uh, uh, registered private candidates, both curric uh, curriculum, that is Kenyan system, and the British curriculum. So you can register in our institution. Uh, we don't discriminate any students, regardless of your age, your background, your gender, where you come from. Um, we register all students regardless of, of their age. So what you need to do, you can enroll in our institution and Goma schools. The amount of learning we have, the one-on-one, -on -one, you can come to our center at Karen, or rather you can engage us on uh, the e-learning that is the, via Zoom platform or Google Meet, or simply you can reach us out on 07-08-03-10-78. Okay, what's your parting shot? There? Your parting shot. Yeah, uh, a word of encouragement to the uh, youth. The, the word of encouragement you. I can tell people, your network is your net worth. Mm -hmm. The people you interact with, the way the network, your network is so big, that is your net worth. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for coming on board. Uh, we appreciate the conversation. Thank you so had. much, Stephanie. All right. So that has been Maurice, who's the director and uh, teacher at Ngoma Schools, talking to us about his journey. And he says that as long as you have passion, go for what you are dreaming of. It is possible. I hope you've been encouraged or inspired by this conversation. Ram Aguko will be coming up next with Youth and Politics. See you on the other side of the break.